you're going to shop Black Friday sales, then you need to make sure that it is worth it. It's worth your time and you're actually getting a good deal. I'm going to give you three tips to make sure that the deals that you're shopping are actually saving you money. a list of who you're shopping for I know this sounds basic but you need to think through so here's some things or people that you might forget about when you're thinking through like what are you gonna actually buy on Black Friday there's gonna be so many deals coming at you and you're like what $500 off a TV I need that TV there's gonna be so many good deals you're gonna get distracted and end up spending your whole Christmas budget on things that you don't actually need so if you have a list, just like grocery shopping, you make a list and you're gonna stick to that list. So you have all the people that you normally think of, like your kids, your spouse, your parents, your neighbor, but some people that you might not think of or you forget until the last minute, unfortunately, sometimes are people like our teachers. Maybe there are people at church that you wanna buy gifts for. Are there parties that you're going to and you want to bring a gift for the host? A white elephant gift, um, favorite things party, all of those things look through your calendar what have you been invited to think through your day do you have people at church the kids school maybe you have oh that reminds me we have an extra teacher that we need to buy a gift for this year I just keep my list of people that we're buying for in my phone I have an ongoing notes app I created this list in my phone it's my Christmas list and so it has gift ideas that I've been keeping track of anytime I see something cool online or my kids mention something I add it to the list. Would it be helpful if I did a gift guide for you? I'm thinking like five gifts that we've given to like the boys, girls, spouse that they've loved and five things that we're getting them this year. What do you think? Anywho, I'm gonna have a list, make a list. In addition to the people that you're buying for, write down ideas. You don't have to have an exact idea, but maybe like genres, kitchen supplies, or art supplies, or experiences. Don't forget about experiences. Oh my goodness, there's Black Friday sales on the most amazing things. We're gonna get to that in a second. So in addition to the people that you're buying for, think through things that you actually need and hopefully already have a budget set aside to buy. Black Friday deals, we have bought appliances on two Black Fridays and saved, literally saved us thousands of dollars. So when we first bought this house we were moving in, we needed a refrigerator because we'd never had one before. So we shopped Black Friday and they actually put it on layaway for us at Lowe's. I don't know if they do that anymore. But anyways, you can schedule a delivery date out. So we bought a refrigerator it was a the one that we wanted a thousand dollars off during this Black Friday sale and we set the delivery date for um, end of January when we were actually moving in so we bought it in November Thanksgiving time Black Friday and then scheduled our delivery for January it worked out perfect and we saved a thousand dollars the other Black Friday sale that we um oh we got a for so it was this year 2022 we got our microwave our new oven and range and dishwasher dishwasher I knew there was three of them and the Black Friday sale was um there was a little bit of money off of each one but when you bought like two you got so much money off when you bought three appliances you got so much money off so it ended up saving us about nine hundred dollars across the three appliances so think through, are there things that you need? So appliances, great. Tires, do you need new tires on your van? Every single brand I'm telling you is gonna have a sale. So think through things that you're needing. Make, add those things to your list. So you have the people and then also the things that you're gonna need and maybe some wants in there too. Tip number two is to set a budget. This isn't that exciting, I know, but trust me, again, when you're seeing all of these different sales, you're gonna overbuy if you're not careful and end up spending more money than you would have spent if it wasn't Black Friday. So if you set a budget and maybe that's per person, maybe it's like, okay, this is how much money we have for a new TV. Setting a dollar amount to each item that you're gonna buy or each category that you're gonna buy for is gonna make sure that you're not overspending and getting too excited when all of these slashes are coming through. Okay, now tip number three to make sure that you are getting a really good deal and you're not wasting so much time. I used to like scroll through everything, all of the ads and all of those different 
different things to make sure that I was like getting the very best deal. Let me tell you, there are professionals out there and there's even websites. So websites like Camel 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 will actually let you know if it's a good price because you know sometimes what will happen is stores will mark up their prices during Black Friday, slash them and say, oh look at our sale price is saving you $600, but really it's saving you a whopping $0 because they raise the price just to lower it to the normal price. So rude. Websites like Camel Camel Camel, I think that one is only for Amazon products, which I buy most of my gifts from Amazon anyways. But you can also follow Instagram accounts, people like that who are watching the sales like that is their job to watch the sales and you help support their small business too if you buy through their link there's two that I really love tried and true moms is one of them tried and true moms is one that um, shares a lot of great things and ideas they might even give you some gift ideas and the one that I love 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 and I buy a lot of things through their links is the bargain sisters they actually share amazing deals so and really unique ideas like there's been a few things that I've saved and added to my gift ideas list because of them this morning I just bought a sweater normally it's like 25 bucks it was actually on sale for I got it for like 12 39 or something and here's what's amazing I don't know how they find it but if you're watching their Instagram stories they're doing a great job of going through everything if you're watching their Instagram stories you click their link it'll bring you over to Amazon it'll bring you to an Amazon page and it'll tell you that that code will be applied at checkout so if you were to go to that sweaters web page and look at it it still shows like maybe a couple bucks off you add it to your cart it still shows the normal price but you don't see the sale until you get to check out and then it actually takes off the money so you there's no way that you would have known I mean there's some way I don't know how they figure it out but they do all the work for you so they save you so much time and they're gonna save you a lot of money the thing sometimes though with those codes on Amazon because it'll automatically apply a discount code that's like put in the code DHXZ21 you know it automatically applies a lot of times it only applies for one so like I tried to buy two cardigans this morning for at the $12 price but I, it, the discount code only applied to one. So make sure you're paying attention in your checkout cart um, that you're saving the money you want and not just hitting A and then your money's gone. Okay, and here's a bonus tip. My bonus tip for you is that you don't have to be in charge of all of it. I did a poll on our Instagram the other day and asked what's one of the main things that stresses you out about the holidays and the majority of people were saying buying gifts for everyone stresses them out. Here's the thing, you don't have to be in charge of that. If you have the list, if you have the budget, delegate some of that to other members in your family. Maybe it's your husband and you're gonna say, hey, could you please be in charge of buying our white elephant gift? But okay, here's your budget. Here's your $30 for a white elephant gift or your favorite thing gift. Can you please be in charge of that? Or ask your kids, hey, I need you to think of a really fun idea. Can you help me figure out what we're going to buy cousins for Christmas, $20 for the family or whatever it is. Delegate some of that, get some of that, get some of that holiday pressure off your shoulders and they're gonna help you get the job done. Okay, how are we feeling? Are we feeling like we can tackle Black Friday now? These Black Friday tips are going to help you stay calm. You're not going to stress out. You're not gonna be overwhelmed with all of the sales coming at you. You don't need to go stand in line. Most of this can be done online. You're gonna stick to your budget and you are gonna have a stress free Black Friday. Now, is there any tips that you guys have? Are there any secrets? Are there any websites that you use to make sure that you're getting the best price? Let's chat down in the comments. Okay, if this video was helpful for you, will you please give it a thumbs up? And if we're new, hit that subscribe button so we can hang out more and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.